Greetings and welcome to the Tuesday Morning Vodcast podcast. I got nothing to say. Greetings, all you Billy Bumblers out there. Um, I didn't want another day to go by without doing something. Um, I'm waiting for something to come in the mail that I thought I'd do an unboxing for, and I thought I was going to do it yesterday, but it did not arrive. I do have another package coming today, which you may see the contents of very soon, but there is a new series that's going to begin. It probably won't begin until about July, but I'll be filming between now and then, and I will have something to show you, hopefully a lot to show you by then. In the meantime, however, we still have the white lightning. Rick, I have not forgotten about it, and I promise you that is my, um, that's my next thing. Um, I just, I, I know what I'm going to go through, and I'm psyched up and ready for it. Um, but I just kind of wanted to ease into the week first, so it's coming, I promise. The good Rick giveth, and I shall consumeth. Well, let's take a few questions from our studio audience this morning while we wait for the package to arrive. If you went to a beach and it turned out to be a nude beach, would you stay and go swimming? Would you swim nude? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Probably not. As much as I'm getting more and more comfortable with my body, as I'm making progress towards becoming a better person, physically at least, <laughs> um, I, I still don't know. You know, I mean, maybe when I was younger, I was like, I didn't care as much, but now... Eh, I mean, I don't really care still, but I just, the thought of it is awkward, you know? I have no desire to go into the world and, 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 and go to a nudist beach. That, that wouldn't be for me, no. Um, it's okay for everybody else. I'm, you know, if that's your thing, go for it. All right, next question. When did you last sing to yourself, to someone else? To myself, easily within the last few hours. I sing constantly. Even things that are not songs become a song to me. Um, look at this book over here. It's got love and sex in the title. It's got some questions. They might be risque. I hope that you're ready for some. Like, if you could watch a video of yourself making love, would you want to? Pfft. Yeah. Damn. Which kind of goes against the... Um, <laughs> the nudist beach thing um but i think that's two totally different situations one is a very private and personal thing whereas one is a very very public thing very public okay what is this oh yeah the sing to yourself someone else i mean i'm always singing to my kids when i dribble water on myself in the morning sometimes as i'm drinking water it makes all the rest of this awkward i feel like i'm constantly just dripping water i should call it the wet cast all right, let's go with another one. This is rapid fire question day. We're going to call this video. I was hoping one of these questions would open up something for us to talk about. <laughs> Just because I enjoy doing these. Would it disturb you much if upon your death, your body were simply thrown into the woods and left to rot? Why? Oh, no. I've actually told Carol to do this. Just throw me in the fucking woods. Like when I get to the point where I'm, I know I'm about to die, if I'm still capable of movement or if someone is willing to move me there, I want someone to take me to a nice shady clearing somewhere that overlooks fields and mountains and lakes or, or, or any of the three. It doesn't have to be all of them. And I just want to just go. You know what I mean? And let my body go back to the earth. And if animals choose to consume it, awesome. If plants want to grow out of it, even better. So that that's my wish. Like if there's a way, you know, those plant things, you can plant yourself and they make a tree that grows out of you. Totally. I love that idea. Next. Okay, we'll skip that one. Not going to tell you. Uh... Which of the following restrictions could you best tolerate? Leave the country, leaving the country permanently or never leaving the state in which you live in now? Uh, leaving the country permanently. Um, I, would, I would do that right now. I've often thought about, uh, you, know, you know, the whole redneck -y argument. Maybe it's not a redneck. Maybe it's a patriot argument of the, if you don't love it, leave it. Well, I've often thought about starting a Kickstarter campaign called I don't love it and I want to leave it. <laughs> 
where I would allow people who could put their money behind their words to send me money to get me out of the country. You would have one less person that you want here, and I would be somewhere else, and this would be more of your country. Now, it's not like I'm giving up. Like, this this America is beautiful. I love the 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 beauty of this country. I hate the politics of this country. I hate the capitalism of this country. I hate where we've come as a country. And I just, I don't see a fix. Everything is so black and white. They've manipulated us in such a way that we cannot get out of this anymore. Um, I'm going to stop talking about that one though, because I don't want to bum people out about that. That's just where I stand. That's my personal opinion. And everyone is entitled to theirs. And it's, it sucks sometimes, but it's the truth. Like, Get me out of here, please. Start a campaign and I will... I'm thinking maybe somewhere in the Netherlands, you know? Seems like a nice place. Peaceful. People are really happy in that area. <laughs> My son, Grayson, um, I hate talking about it, but he had a brutal accident and he doesn't have his two front teeth. So the dentist or the... Not the dentist, the dental hygienist. I, I, not the hygienist. I don't know what they're called. I know they, uh, 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 no, not, that's eyes. I don't know. Anywho, he decided to use braces to bring Grayson's teeth together in the front and it would be more natural, more normal. He wouldn't have, have to go through the process of surgeries and having, you know, things installed. So we went with that route, but the, the bar that connects in the front, which is getting shorter and shorter because his teeth are getting closer and closer together, somehow snapped and not the bar, the, the wire. And so we might have to do that today. I thought you might like to know that. Would you like to know the precise date of your death? This is a great question. There are so many advantages and disadvantages to knowing that. And it's scary at the same time. Like as if, if, if you were like, yes, tell me. And you're like, well, it's, it's actually in seven minutes. <laughs> You'd be like, well, I guess that would be a good thing because those last seven minutes, you wouldn't be like farting around on your phone or something. You'd be like, shit. I got to call mom. I got to go hug the dog, whatever means that much to you. You know, you would, you would pursue it in those next seven minutes. I guess that's what, that's, that's a huge thing. Knowing that knowledge changes everything from that point forward, because it, it's kind of like I've always said, you know, um, the whole live life to the fullest and love every moment of it. Cause you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. That's actually a sermon I'm working on. However, that's what this means is you don't know so having that knowledge does it change that whole thing no but it changes your perspective you go from thinking i'm immortal or i've got at least 40 years left i've got at least 35 years left i've got 50 years left to being like okay i've got 17 years four days and 21 minutes left to live what do I want to do with that time and we should be living that way every day right now without this knowledge so you know, I think I would say no. I mean, I'd rather not know. Like, it's going to change you. Could be positively, could be negatively. All right, what do we got? We got a few more questions. Uh, to go along with this last one, if you could choose the manner of your death, what would it be? Peacefully in my sleep. I mean, I, or a hero. <laughs> um, be nice to go out, you know, saving somebody else or something like that. However, in all honesty and in, 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 uh, in very selfish fashion, I would say I just want to go in my sleep around, you know, around maybe my late 80s, late 90s. You know, it all depends where the technology is at the time, where medical technology has reached. Perhaps I never will die. Perhaps you never will either. But I doubt it. Okay. I think we got time for one more question. That was a quick one. See, this this love and sex one is very, it's, it's, um, I'll, I'll read you one. It doesn't mean I have to answer it, you know. Would you rather your lover have a beautiful face and an average body or an average face and a beautiful body? Well, I got lucky and I got both. <laughs> when did you last yell at someone? Why? And did you later regret it? Okay, so let me answer the, the second part of this, or the third part of this first. I always regret when I raise my voice. And for the last year or so, I've been very aware and conscious of the fact that sometimes I go from zero to ten really quickly. I'm, most of the time, I am very doodly by nature. I take, you know, punches that they're thrown at me. But... Stress builds up really quickly, and 
unfortunately, it's easy to snap at somebody. But I've come to realize that that doesn't serve anyone any good. Like, if in the very moment, you might feel a little bit better because you're expressing your feelings, but you're hurting somebody else's. And it's never worth it to benefit off of someone else's suffering is, is, is basically what I believe it comes down to. So um, I have tried to slow down, be patient, um, take a breath, smell the roses when I walk by them uh, for the last year. And I think it's made a world of difference, at least for my, like, I, like, I I always felt like I was tight, like everything was just tense and, and and it still gets that way sometimes, but that's, it's in those moments where I have the realization now I've I've developed this like pattern of like, ah, okay. All right. Take a second. All right. Open the door. Get a little, oh, listen to the birds. Listen to the birds. And then you just move on. You know what I mean? It's not as easily said as done, but, you know, you get there one way or another. Or, or you don't. <laughs> Thankfully for myself, I can feel the, the waves of anxiety washing over me. I don't let things bother me as much. I can't. Because if I let all the little things bother me, I'll lose it. Not that I don't still sometimes. But I am aware of it now, and I'm making those corrections. And hopefully, you know, six months, that'll be a thing of the past, and I'll be a new person in that, that you know, scenario. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Do you? Anywho, I may be back later this afternoon with one or two unboxings. I will definitely be back with the White Lightning Challenge, or not the challenge, the uh, Coco Challenge, <clears throat> the Choco Challenge. It's down somewhere around here. And after that, um, we'll see what happens for the rest of the week. I don't really know what's going on. So you guys take care out there. Um, don't forget to make this somebody smile today. And if you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. I already said that out of line, didn't I? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm Jason Albert. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Vodcast Podcast. Take care, and boy, howdy. Ha, ha, ha.